Runk. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I will be in Charlotte and I will be in Knoxville this weekend. So go get tickets and I will be in Little Rock, Arkansas and uh, different places like, you know, Cleveland. I don't even know, honestly, where I'm going to be. Oh, a lot of a lot of can- Canadian dates. And I know people want me to come to Vancouver, and I'm not not going to come to Vancouver. I am going to come to Vancouver, but that's next year, and I haven't posted about it yet. But I will be in Nashville soon. And um, like I said, a lot in Canada, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Detroit, Fort Myers, Florida, for some reason, Richmond, Virginia. Didn't have a, f- a clue I was going to be there, but I am. Um, and Baltimore, Maryland. Had no clue, but I'm going to be there. And then Reading, Pennsylvania, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for, uh, Pennsylvania, but Reading, Pennsylvania, for some reason. Not Philadelphia for some reason, but anyway, you know, go to chrisley.com to get them tickets, and uh, and there you have it. We also got some beautiful, gorgeous merch, man. What the heck? What the frink? Check this merch out. The pockets stay deep. People know that you're loaded because you got them diving boards above your pockets because the pockets are absolutely deep. The pockets are absolutely the deepest thing I've ever seen. They're deeper than the abyss. They're deeper than the movie, you know, in, in the bedroom or whatever that one is with Nick Stahl. Uh, it's a deep movie about a family tragedy, but there is all, it is so deep, as deep as these, dude, did they film my, did they film in the bedroom in my pockets? <laughs> so we got the pockets stay deep, uh, merch, and then, um, life ribs decal so you could sport it out. And then the grower die hoodies with, oh God, it's just like, come on, dude, come on. Grow or die. Look at them. Look at them right there. They're beautiful. So uh, anyway, without further uh, ra- rambling, uh, let's get into some rambling on the new episode of Congratulations. Every time my producers go like do the thing where they do... I think of Wayne's World, and that's fine because they did it in Wayne's World, and they do it all the time. And that's honestly, that means you're a legit radio state, uh, TV station, and I'm a legit TV station. So I'm not a TV station. I'm a TV station. Um. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, man, I mean, it's been a hell of, dude. Los Angeles went through the storm. They got their first hurricane ever in history. What? A- hurricane Hillary. Wow. I'm just like, to the storm, I'm just like, lock her up, dude. I'm just like, but her emails. But the storm's emails. That's how I go like that. But, man, we got like eight inches of uh, rain or something. I live on a hill, dude. Man, there were, they, it was gushing. Down. It was like uh, that. Uh, it was like a Universal uh, Studios Right. L.A., California, whatever, L.A. is not equipped for the storm. And it's okay. There was mild wind. Now, let me ask. Let me actually talk about this. Dude, they do category one, two, three, four, five, right? It only means the wind. That doesn't account for rainfall. Now, what the heck? I'm not a barometrist. But it's like, dude, account for the water, you know? Come on, man. Account for the water. The water is the thing that makes the floods happen. More people die from the water than they do from the wind. I mean, come on, dude. That's either true or I made it up. But it's like, come on, dude. You see all these floods and all this stuff. And remember when Fort Myers had that crazy one? The whole city was underwater. Jeez, it's just like, and I just learned that. But Fort Myers was all underwater. I'll be in Fort Myers also, chrislea.com coming up soon here. But dude, it's just like, make it, screw this wind stuff. It's really about the rain, man. Uh, So come on, the government, clean it up. Come on, botanists or whatever, not botanists, barometrists or, you know, weather people. I like how weathermen can be like, fours and fives but if you're a a woman a female weather woman weather female you gotta be a just all out 10 you know and also 
That's where the sentence ends, actually. But, dude, you just got to be an all-out 10. You turn on any weather channel, if there's a female doing... And she's There's a, a front coming in, and there should be a front. Here, let's check this out. There's a front coming in, dude, and you're just like... Ah, ooga. Dude, you're just like... You go. Your tongue comes out. Ah, ooga. <laughs> like that scene from The Mask. Dude, and you're just, and then a guy, and then a guy. Well, by the way, why are there male weather men? I, and I'm not, you know, look, I'm not sexist, and I, I was sexist. I'm a reformed sexist. I'm not anymore, but I'm also, I'm not crazy woke, you know, I'm not woke at all. I'm not woke. I hate that. But it's like, who the, who the, who the fuck wants to listen to the Dallas Reigns? And his orange face. Ah, we got a cold front. Dude, I want to see some, you know what I mean? I want to see somebody with a back seat on her. I'm not trying to be like, but you know? Sometimes I, I, I do this podcast and I think about Calvin listening to it when he's like 25. And I'm just like, hmm. oh, well, hopefully he'll like it. Hey, son, I meant all of this, every word. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh... I mean everything I say on this podcast, and that's why it's not a comedy podcast. That's why it's an absolute drama. I have the only drama podcast, no, and I don't. I know there's storytelling, like the whole thing with, um, and there he was, found himself stark naked in the middle of a field, holding a decapitated head. I know they have those story, like they tell real stuff, and they do like stories. Like the, I saw this, I listened to this podcast, uh, the girl in the blue Mustang or something where they arrested the wrong guy and then he got out and the family still thinks he did it. And it's like, but this podcast is a drama. Um, and it's the only one where a guy just straight up talks to you and it's a drama. So anyway, whatever, dude, it's like, go, go to other guys for your comedy shit, like Tim Dillon and who else has a solo podcast? I don't even really know anymore. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, the storm was, was kind of cool. I stayed in, we stayed in. I, I mean, dude, I gotta be honest. Kristen was like, there's going to be a hurricane. And I was like, it'll be fine. And she's like, I'm from North Carolina. And I was like, okay, well, so you, you're saying you've been through hurricanes. And she was like, yes, I, I, I know what we have to do. And I was like, it, it's actually, it's fine. She was like, we're going to flood. We need sandbags. I was like, we're not going to flood because we're on a hill. You can't flood if you're on a hill. It just keeps going. The, the water will just keep going. And she was like, we got to go to the fire, local fire department. They have them for free. We'll get sand. I'm like, no, dude, we'll just, we won't flood. It'll be fine. It's not even going to. And then I started saying like, dude, it's not even going to get to us. Like the, it's going to dissipate before we even get it. It even gets here to LA. And she was like, no, 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 no. And then we gave a joke. And I was like, it's not even going to happen. And then even as the rain was coming down, I was like, dude, the storm's not coming. And we were laughing. We were having a good, we were having a laugh. You know what I mean? That's just like kind of like husband and wife material. But uh, they were just laughing at each other. You know what I mean? But but beforehand, she was like, "Get, dude, I, m when my wife hears about something like a natural disaster, it's DEFCON 5. It's DEFCON. F There's going to be a hurricane. She goes like this. Get three generators. Go now. Home Depot. They're going to be sold out. Hurry up. You got to be the first one there. Not we need uh, we need we need a, a ge we need a generator. It needs to have twenty thousand watts. It needs to be capable of twenty thousand watts, and and uh, and at least a seventeen thousand watts run uh, run rate. And then and then you need to go get ninety. You need to go get ninety extension cords. And I'm just like, uh, and get seventy cans of propane and forty five gas tanks. And and I'm just like, dude, it's gonna be fine. She's like, what if the power goes out? We have a baby. We have two babies. We have a baby. We have three babies, including you. And I'm like, I get it. That's funny. And she was like, yeah, but you know, what about the milk and the fridge and all that? It's going to be. F so I go out, I get the fucking generator, dude. You know, it's like, it's like 8,000 Watts. It'll power enough. It'll power the fridge and the shit. And the people at the Home Depot, I'm like, Hey, can I get somebody? By the way, 160 people work at Home Depot. It's insane. You go there Half of the people, and there are a lot of customers, half of the people there straight up work there. They have, or they're just dressed with orange, 
Home Depot shirts for no reason. Because, dude, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. And they're all like, it's like a little city. They're just driving around on forklifts and shit. Just so slow. Just bee. need help. You're like looking at the cookies they have for some reason, you know? And then I love to go in that section where there's there's 50,000 lamps. And they're all on. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know, 160 people work there. And then I'm like, hey, can I get some help? I, want to, I need to know what, what the fucking generator will do. You never can talk right away to the guy who knows what's up. They always go, yeah, let me, um, all right, let me get a, and you're like, uh, you know, and the guy comes by, how can I help you? Yeah. Can I get the fucking, there's that funny bit, the Sebastian Maniscalco bit where he's like, Hey, what's the difference between this and this? And then the guy goes, uh, and then Sebastian says, he's going to make it up. Dude, that's what they do. They're going to make, they fucking, they make it up. And, um, and he's like, yeah, this one takes propane. They just read the fucking thing. They're like, this one takes propane and gas. So you might want that one. And the way they say it, I'm like, yeah, I might want that one. I don't know. I have fucking gas or propane. Do you guys got gas here? No. Do you have propane here? Yeah. Then I want the fucking propane one. You think I want to go to Arco and fill up just loose bags of unleaded fuel and just and then just have it in my garage? God forbid my, you know, you know. My son takes a fucking sparkler down there or something on 4th of July. So, uh, it, it took so long to get the fucking generator and the propane tank, dude. And the guy was wearing a mask and it's like, dude, take it off. Don't, the worker was wearing a mask and then that's fine. But then I saw another worker without one. So it's like, take it off. I understand if that's your company rule. You got to do it or you get fired. Okay, fine. That sucks. But if you can't beat them, join them. But if you don't have to, take it off. So now I'm like, all right. So, you know, I'm grabbing all this other shit too because it's so much like, I'm like, ooh, I want, I'm the fucking sucker that's in the line where I'm like, ooh, certs, you know? Ooh, Tic Tacs and, ooh, do, ooh. Ooh, kind bars. By the way, if you've ever eaten a kind bar and you like it, that's the enemy right there. Kind bars are so bad, dude. Kind bars, every single kind bar are fucking absolute trash. Every kind, and the name kind, dude, I'll do a soft kick to it. I'll tell you what, man, kind bars, dude, eat the blueberry one. It's worse than the chocolate one. It's worse than the walnut one. It's worse than the fucking, um, Almond, dude, they're all bad and they stick to your teeth, dude. They're so. What are kind bars? Who are they for? That's the enemy. You see someone eating a kind bar? That's. I swear to God, that's the enemy. I'm. I'm telling you, dude. You can't trust somebody who likes a kind bar because they think they're eating it for fucking. Because they think it's good for you a little bit. They think it's a better version, a more healthier version than a Snickers, even though it's not. You know, and they're eating a kind bar and they they don't know really what's going on. You can't trust a motherfucker that eats a kind bar because they're just sitting there thinking they're doing something, you know, like they've been somewhere. God, like they never traveled, but to tell you about the fucking Stonehenge, that's the kind of guy who eat kind bars. Well, I've never been, but you know, the reason why that is, that is a kind bar eater if I ever heard of it. And they got kind bars at fucking Home Depot. I don't like how every store also sells water. You know, every single store sells water. Every store you go in and you can also get water. It doesn't matter what it's up. You go to Home Depot, get water. Bottles of water. And then in 1970, bottles of water weren't even a fucking thing. And that's either true or I made it up. But then bottles of water fucking happened. And now you would be like, remember when the fuck a bottle, I remember when I was younger, bottles of water, somebody, a bottle of water, what a fucking prissy asshole. You just drink it out of the sink. And like, yeah, but it has lead in it. And you're like, does it? Okay, I'll get a bottle of water. And then you realize it's not that bad. Sometimes the sink water is better than the fucking Dasani shit. Dasani tastes like a fucking someone, it's somebody's leftover colonic shit. And uh, so now they just sell, you know, water just everywhere. Go to a vape shop. Hey, dude, you got it? They got it. Yeah, we got the right there in the, in the fridge. You're a vape shop, dude. You know? <laughs> You sell terrible shit. Don't act also like, oh, yeah, you may need a water. (laughs) 
I swear to God, I went to a place. I went to fucking Lids. They were like, dude, if you need. They had a Powerade water fucking fridge at Lids. A- every place has water. And then now, bro, I was saying this to my brother, and my brother goes like this. Dude, what about water shops? And I go like this. What? He's like, yeah, there are places that you can, that just sell water. And I said, well, no, there's not. And he said, yes, there are. And I go, link me. Dude, there's places you can just buy water. Bro, run by the Russian mafia. I swear to God, there's places you can just go buy water. Dude, imagine shopping there. Just like, what a piece of shit, you know? Ooh, let me get the um, the pH. Do you have a pH? I don't know. I remember one time I was start, fucking Whitney Cummings was trying to tell me about the the water and how you gotta have this because it's got the pH. And I'm just like, oh yeah, didn't do shit. Kept drinking that fucking whatever I was drinking. You gotta be wary about people who eat kind bars and talk about water too much for real. As I sip on my fucking arrowhead. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. People think it's pond water. I don't give a fuck, dude. Hope there's tadpoles in my belly. So anyway, dude. Um, I drink water and I drink uh, coffee and I drink uh, club soda. And that's fucking the most interesting thing I've ever said. So go eat my dick. And I'll tell you what. One time I asked my Uncle Vinny. I said, hey, what do you drink? And he goes like this. Water. And I... <laughs> And I said, oh, yeah, anything else? And he goes like this, water. And I said, so anything? You don't just drink water or anything? And he goes like this, water. And, dude, he did it three or four times, and I can't. I, I think about that all the time, dude. My Dude, he wanted to laugh. He wanted to laugh out of me. Water. Like just. So I drink a lot of water. I go to the gym, and I sweat it up. And I know I talk about the gym a lot, but, dude, this is not even. I actually have a story about it. I know I joke around about how I got the teardrops and all that. And yeah, I do. It's fine, right? Like that, I got the hamstrings that'll choke someone out and I get it and that's fine and that's cool, right? Like I walk around like I'm a, you know what I mean? Like I could be, it doesn't matter. I can run backwards just as fast as I can run forwards, okay? But what I'm saying is, yes, I do work out and I'm, not, I'm no stranger to the gym. The Iron Paradise, I get it. I'm the mayor of this fucking place. I need to go in. I need to check the citizens. You know what I'm saying? Uh... So I go, and I get I, I, I go to the gym, and I'm working it out, and I'm sweaty as shit, you know. Go back to a grocery store after that. I'm shopping. Some dude comes up to me. And now, I know I joke around about how I do legs all the time, but sh- check this out f- for size. Why don't you fucking feast your eyes on, feast your ears on listening to this. If you're watching the, if you're watching the show, feast your eyes on me saying this. But the guy comes up to me and says, hey, man, you work out at the gym, right, that I go to? And I was like, oh, yeah, what's up, bro? He's like, hey, man, cool. And I said, cool, man. He says, hey, man, um, you work out legs a lot. <laughs> and I say, oh, yeah, man, I do. I work out legs. You know, I think that's the most important thing to work out. And he goes like this, yeah, man. And he said, respect. <laughs> And I go, thanks. Yeah, thanks, man. And huh, walks away. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Fucking talk about making my day, dude. I walked out of that place. And it was just... I mean, it was killer. I mean, yeah, I go to the gym. It's Operation Do It to him, But it's just like... It's absolutely, you know, it's crazy, dude. Respect. Who even says that anymore? It's like it's respect. Dude, I was on the couch today. Early in the morning, my wife got up with the kids. And uh, and I was still sleeping. And then she came in. She came in at like nine. I almost threw up in my mouth. Came in at nine. And uh, she said, hey, babe, I, I got the worst sleep last night. I couldn't sleep. Can you get up and, and be with the kids while I take a nap? And I go like this, sure. A nap at nine, that's fucking bonkers insane, but sure. At nine, you should still be riding the I slept, even if it was just for four hours. But she hadn't. 
Shit took a nap at nine. That's all good. So I go, yeah, sure. I get up. Let me get up, dude. Yeah. Look, am I resentful? Yeah. But do I do it? Yeah. Does my back hurt? Yeah. Is it okay? No, it fucking hurts still. And I still worked out, but it's fine. Okay. It's ultimately fine. I'm just going to work out until my back breaks. And, and so I go downstairs and I see Calvin and William. William is in the boppy. He can't even fucking sit up yet. You know, he's four months old. And Calvin is sitting on the couch watching Storybots on Netflix, which he likes. It's a cute show. And I'm talk I'm looking at William, who's in front of Calvin, and Calvin says to me, Actually, we want to watch the TV. Actually, let's watch the TV. And I look because I was in front of the TV. Like, that is so gangster. <laughs> that is so gangster. And I love him for that. But then I'm chilling. I'm watching Storybots. I'm, you know, I'm on the couch with Calvin. And Calvin says, Oh, no. And I said, What? He says, You spilled my milk. And I look oh, 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 at Calvin, who is on the other pillow, on the other side of the couch. Like, I can't actually even reach him unless I move and go touch him. And he's holding his milk sippy cup. And I say, huh? And he says, you spilled my milk. And I said, I, I'm not even over there. I <laughs> Dude, he's three. And now I'm like, am I about to get in an argument with the fucking with the three-year-old? He says, you spilled my milk. And I said, well, Calvin, I'm not even over there. I, I didn't even touch your milk. And he says, oh, you spilled it. And I said, who spilled it? And he said, you. And I said, well, actually, I took a fucking video of it. And I'm going to play it. Hold on. Right here. Calvin, hold on, hold on. Calvin, who spilled the milk? I don't know. Okay, well, who's holding the milk? Me. Okay, so who maybe spilled it? I don't, I don't know. It's anybody. Yeah, it could be anybody? No. Hmm. Well, what was happening when the milk spilled? How did the milk spill? I dipped it and it spilled so well. So it spilled when you were holding it? Mm-hmm. So who spilled the milk? That was me. Cracked him. Cracked him. That's like the end of the fucking movie and Justice for All when Al Pacino almost looks into the camera just like, he's innocent! Dude, cracked him, dude. How awesome is that that you can just crack, crack someone like that? Even though, yeah, he was three, but it's just like, just knowing that you got him, you know? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like leading him down that path, you know? I'm leading them down the path. Like, dude, I swear to God, other lawyers would be like, objection, you're leading the witness. And dude, oh, but I'm just like, he's three. Dude, and I just let him down. I just held his hand. I just took a little stroll with him. And at the end, what was there? The spilled milk. And who was holding it? Him. And then he goes, it was me. I cracked him, dude. Holy shit. (laughs) Fucking Johnny Cochran in the absolute heezy. So anyway, dude, I'm also a good dad, though. Check this out. The milk. That was me. That's okay, buddy. It was an accident, right? Yeah. That's okay. Do you want me to get more? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Bro, so I kind of had a happier ending than you thought, but I still did fucking crack him, dude. That's great. He was crying over spilled milk, you know? Um... Bro, wait, wait, wait. Actually, let's look up this thing. This is hilarious. That that Bradley Cooper. They can't stop doing it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this shit where because he put the he had the Jew nose on or whatever the fuck. The the big big nose and then they Look at this. 
Look at this. Well, so now they're coming out with the articles like why Bradley Cooper's fake nose may not be an anti-Semitic scandal, critics claim. Did this the best? Because the dude had a big ass honker and yeah, he happened to be Jewish. Oh, wow. They made it bigger than it actually is, though, didn't they? They got a side by side here. The guy had a nice nose and they, they, Bradley Cooper's playing a Jewish guy and they, they beefed up his nose. Look at this. Hollywood cast. Look, look at this, dude. These stop anti-Semitic, stop anti-Semitism. There's not enough. Just get the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Get on Kanye. Talk about Hitler still. Hollywood cast Bradley Cooper, a non-Jew, to play. That's fine, by the way, dude. It's fine. It's so annoying. Remember acting? Fucking Al Pacino played a goddamn Cuban in the... Push it to the limit. Scarface, whatever it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, say hello to my little friend. That was a white guy playing a not white guy acting. Now, I get it. White people have had more opportunity and this and that. Oh, okay. The other thing. Now, I get it. That's not right. Yes, I get that. Okay, that's fine. But also, dude, it's okay if Bradley Coop Dog plays a Jew. All right? It's acting. It's not like he's going to be out there like, oh, oh my God. Oh, who, who spilled all the matzah? Like, he's not going to be doing that. Oh, you vague. I don't know how to park the car. It's all got these different gadgets in it. It's not like he's going to be like that. Oh, boy. That's too... It's not like he's walking around like, oh, that's too expensive. What do we do? He's just fucking... You know, the guy had a little bit of a bigger nose. And 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 Bradley Cooper, the makeup... The makeup people were probably Jewish. And by the way, it's Hollywood. So the fucking producers were Jewish. So Hollywood cast Bradley Cooper, a non-Jew, to play Jewish legend Leonard Bernstein. Wow, he's Jewish? Uh, and stuck a disgusting, exaggerated Jew nose on him. This is what the stop anti-Semitism from Twitter is saying. By the way, being anti-Semitic saying it this way, you know? Eh, sir, anti-Semitic. When you're trying to stop anti-Semitism and you said... Stuck a disgusting, exaggerated Jew nose on him, um. Hey. Hey. Chill. All while saying no to Jake Gyllenhaal, an actually Jewish man who has dreamt of playing Bernstein for decades. Sickening. Hey, check this out, dude. Jill, I'll tell you what. Jake Gyllenhaal is such a good actor, he would have fucking done workouts to get his nose bigger. For real. Jake Gyllenhaal goes like Jake Gyllenhaal is the shit because he knows how pussy of a profession acting is. So he's like, you know what, dude, I'm going to play a fucking lion tamer. Put me in a a, a cage with lions for a year and a half because acting is one ticket to pussyville. And I am going to make it a hard job so I can fucking become the guy. Dude, what you saw that movie Southpaw? Hey, Jake Gyllenhaal's a boxer in it. Dude, his body, he's built like a, sh- a, a, a shit brick house. Ha- brick, I can't ever brick shit out. Ha- what the fuck is it? I don't know. He's he's stacked, dude. He's so stacked. I would never, like, I'm not gay, but I would, you know. I'd jerk off in a room with him if he was doing it too. I'm just like, right? It's crazy. And, dude, he's so good, he would think his nose bigger. And he's Jewish, which is fine. I didn't know Jake Gyllenhaal was Jewish, but Bradley Cooper's not Jewish, and he goes like this, knows me. Others proclaimed it's Jew face. I like to trying to, ha- to to hop on the bandwagon of blackface when it's like that was actually a thing, you know? Uh, the suggestion is that portrayal of Bernstein by Cooper is a non-Jew. Is a- Dude, I can't wait till the pendulum swings, and I'm playing a fucking Asian, I swear to God. An Asian woman, not trans. An Asian woman born as a woman, never thought about changing genders, just straight up, and I'm 11 in it. You know, just fucking caked on the makeup. Just, they have to fucking film, every time they film me talking to an adult, they have to dig a hole and I stay, (laughs) I have to stand in it. Because I got to appear shorter than fucking Colin Firth or whoever else is in it. Uh, to me, the answer is... Uh, okay, so so let's see what they say. So the, the suggestion is that portrayal of Bernstein by Cooper as a non-Jew is akin to the deeply offensive practice of blackface. It's not. It's not. Newsflash, it's not. In which white actors once donned dark makeup to... Okay, yeah, this was bad. Okay, this was bad. Okay. 
Um, and that brings us to our initial question. Can a Jew be credibly portrayed by a non-Jew? To me, the answer is unambiguous. Absolutely. Draw, drawing from my own experiences, if I were still in the acting profession, to limit myself only to playing Italian or Puerto Rican roles, would just... A, dude, they should have honestly, for real, got the guy from the Allstate commercials to play this guy. To play... And, 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 and gave him a big nose and white-faced him. And just have him be like, I'm Leonard, I'm Leonard Bernstein. <laughs> I'm famous Hollywood producer Leonard Bernstein. That's my plan. Is he doing the Allstate thing? Why is he standing in the middle of the street during this whole movie? <laughs> Dude, bro, you know what the fuck? What's that guy's name from Allstate? Dennis Haysbert, dude, that guy is the most distinguished man in the world, dude. I swear to God, that guy's so distinguished, he doesn't fuck. He's so distinguished, he like he'll fall in love with a woman straight off looks, and she'll fall in love too. And then she says, well, don't we have to make love at some point? And he just goes like this. <laughs> we don't have to. And they get married and have kids without insemination. That's how respectable. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fucking president in 24. It's so crazy how they made a black president on TV before it happened in real life. Dude, that's hilarious. That's so backwards. Um, Dennis Haysbert for president, and I mean it. But he is in the one of the top fucking, I would say, at least top 10 movies, or I would say maybe top five movies. I saw it last night. Dude, Dennis Haysburg is in the movie, and I finally saw it for the first time, and I've been saving this movie because I thought it would be good to watch, and I wanted to save it till I could appreciate it. And dude, it is the, it is, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's, it, it's unfair to call it an action movie, but it is, but it is the greatest action movie of all time period and that movie is heat dude are you i watched it first of all Kristen goes like this let's watch a movie and i say well what do you want to watch and she says let's watch oscar nominated movies now your boy cinema hey because he's cultured hey it's all good hey he's cinema oh But I'm sifted through. There's some I haven't seen, right? Turn on The Insider. Hey, we watched The Insider. Oh, good. Russell Crowe, he's pretty good. He's good. Russell Crowe's great in it. Insider's good. Michael Mann directed it. So what popped up after What popped up after that? I never saw Insider. I know it was nominated for Best Picture or something. Uh, Russell Crowe was nominated for Best Actor. Um, that's, by the way, really funny that Russell Crowe was nominated for Best Actor and Al Pacino wasn't nominated for Best Actor. You know Al Pacino was like, oh, well, that, okay, well, hey, good, good for, no, that's great. Good for, good for the Aussie. Oh, yeah, good for, where, where the fuck is he from? Where's he from? All right. There you go. He won. Is that about heat? What? Let me see. Oh, no. They're gonna remake it? Oh, this oh, I thought it was the prequel. Prequel. Alright, well, so I mean I gotta watch it. Okay, Adam Driver's gonna be in a prequel to Heat. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I think that that's great. I always want to make prequels. I think they should make only prequels. I don't think they should ever make sequels. Sequels are a recipe for disaster. The shit is done. It's over. If it's a great movie. It's all wrapped up. And then more? Dude, always make a prequel. Fuck, he makes so much sense. Is that Chris D'Elia? I think so. Dude, just make a prequel. Boom. Money. You get the money and you get the... Sh if it's good, you get the, sh the... How many sequels are better than a two, right? They got fucking um, Terminator and Godfather, right? Or No, not Godfather. What's the other one? I don't know. Fucking there's one or two. Um, and so, man, I, Kristen is like, let's watch it. So we watch Insider. The next, she falls asleep in 20 minutes. Yes, dude. Woo. Now I'm stuck watching Russell Crowe do a fucking American accent. I swear to God, 20 minutes in, 
20 minutes in, let's watch a fucking, I always want to watch a good movie. Let's watch a, I've seen a lot of the Oscar winners. So let's just watch the, let's watch the, we'll watch a one that got nominated a lot. Okay, cool. Ooh, instead of, ooh, she goes, ooh. I said, cool, play. 20 minutes later, Kristen. She's Kristen Wiig from Bridesmaids on the plane. just, And so now I got to watch the rest of the movie. I don't want to because it's three hours, dude. The movie should only be two hours, period. Movie should be an hour. I, I swear, I, for real. Even Pocahontas is too long, and that's like an hour and 10 minutes. Um, And so now, the next night, what pops up in the algorithm heat? Why? Because it's Michael Mann. All right, dude, I'm in. Look, I like the way Michael Mann does it. I really like it. I really like the way he does it, dude. And in his heyday in the 90s, he was apparently the shit. And I just saw Insider, and it was great. So I'm like, okay, I'm on that Michael Mann train. So I turn on heat. Because she says, let's watch a movie. I say, okay. She says, but let's go in the bed and watch a movie. Now, I don't like to watch movies or anything or do anything in bed except sleep and doink. But she wants to hang out in the bed like it's a fucking, like it's Hyde. She wants to hang out in the bed like it's a fucking, like it's an Applebee's. Like it's so, she's, well, why can't we go up? And I'm like, uh, no. can we watch a movie? And can you not be on your phone? And can we not go to sleep? And if we if we can do that, then okay. She says, okay, what movie you want to see? I say, heat. She goes like this. Okay. So I go like this. The Dax stacked. She said it. Now, this is a good thing because either I get to watch the whole movie Heat or I catch her in a lie even better. Next morning, I wake up and I go like this. Well, 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 I come down like some crazy fucking villain. Well, 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 somebody fell asleep there, didn't they? What you don't know is I've already poisoned your co your coffee. Um, so I'm watching. So we turn on Heat and I go like this. Huh. Right off the bat. Interesting. There's so many moving pieces. What the fuck? Who's this guy? I keep doing that because I keep introducing more characters. And then I forget about the characters and then go back to the characters and I go like this. Huh. Forgot about that guy, but yeah, I guess he is going through his own kind of mental turmoil. Huh. I watch the movie. I think my mouth was open 85% of the time. And not because I was eating. I legit, that movie is so good and i can't stop thinking about it yes now i know everyone's only like yeah, it's fucking heat dude you should have watched it you should have watched it already but i was saving it and i'm so glad i did because now i'm 43 and i got to watch heat when i was 43 when the fuck did you get to see heat hmm? when you couldn't appreciate it no my brother asked me when he was gonna when there has calvin seen jingle all the way and i say he's not ready yet and he says how is he not ready he's three and a half i say because dude think about it you watch the movie during christmas and last christmas he wasn't even three next christmas he'll fucking watch it can't wait to watch Jingle All the Way with Calvin. And that's the point of this whole story. But he is awesome. Dude, Jingle All the Way is fucking hilarious. Oh, the Turbo Man. I got to get the Turbo Man. <laughs> Sinbad should be in legitimately every single movie. Sinbad is one of the funniest. Dude, that guy in movies is the funniest house guest, dude. When his hands are all numb. Was that him or was that Phil Hartman doing the thing? Dude, when his hands are all numb. Holy and the turbo, I get to get the turbo man. I get to get the turbo man. Oh, dude, they really killed Jingle all the way. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, this clip is, I think this might be, you talk about up your alley. This might be the most up my alley shit. I can't even believe, th th has this guy ever, this guy must have had the best mom of all time. To, to think he could get away with this lie. I ain't going to college, but um, I turned it down. Oh. Yeah, I turned it down just to do this, just to grind from the rap. So you, you uh, had an opportunity to do the drumming yeah, thing? Yeah, scholarship college. and everything. Where at? Um, I think it was like, in Jacksonville, mm. yeah, a big a big band in Jacksonville. It was a big college though. A lion. And they offered me like fifteen, some shit like ten million or something like that, five million something like that. So uh, different. <laughs> a scholarship. Okay, but not five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> fifteen asked me fifteen offered me fifteen ten million five five million dollars or something like that. Hey man, you're not a hundred and seventy five years old. 
You remember. You're 30. Dude. Yeah, for your $5 million to play the game. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, what the fuck y'all, like, Probably. you know what I'm saying? But I was so younger, like, wait, 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 I didn't know what it was. Are you sure they offered you $5 million? To play I turned the game? it down. It was uh. a scholarship, like, I had to go to school for this decade. <laughs> Dude, this guy know what a scholarship is. Fuck. This guy's talking about employment. Dude, this is such a... I had to go for college with this decade. I had to go to college for this decade, right, to get paid that. It was 15 or $5 million. I ain't go to college, but um, I turned it down. Oh. Yeah, I turned it down just to do this, just to grind from the rap. So you, you uh, had an opportunity to do the drug yeah, thing. Yeah, scholarship college. and everything. Where at? Um, oh, God, dude. Where'd you get a scholarship from? Um, Dude, making it up. To, I, the city he picked was perfect, though, because it's a big city that nobody really knows about, Jacksonville, you know? If he was like, and honestly, any other big city would have fucked it up. Chicago. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, uh, no, I, Jacksonville, people, like, people give you grace with that. I think it was like in Jacksonville. Hmm. Yeah, a big a big band in Jacksonville. It was a big college though, and they offered me like fifteen, some shit like ten million or something like that, five million something like that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> a scholarship. <laughs> okay, but not five million dollars. This is the the best part. This guy's so good at line. This guy had the best mom of all time because he he he. His mom was always like, you know, you could do anything and you're the best. He would trip and fall and she would be like, that's the ground fall, honey. Like this guy just believes in himself, whatever he's saying, no matter what. They offered you $5 million. That my favorite part is when he goes, Tsss. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, what the fuck y'all, like, Probably. you know what I'm saying? But I was so younger, like, so wait, younger. I didn't know what it was. Are you sure they offered you $5 million? Look at right here. Tss. I turned it down. Uh, <laughs> dude, the deflection. Didn't say yes or no. I turned it down. Dude, I want to be, why can't I be friends with guys like this? I try. I try to be friends with guys like this, you know? But it's like, I can't because they're just utterly fucking terrible, you know? What? Who is this guy? A football player or rapper? Because he would get a scholarship for, for sports, right? Not for rapping. But he said, I'm in his rap game. I mean, this guy's so confused, you know? That's the best lie I've ever heard in my life. And it's such a good lie that I believe him. <laughs> school for this decade. It was a scholarship like, I had to go to school for this decade. The best was... The face when he realized he could say he had to go to school for the back decade. Like, he's like, oh, I could get away with this. I turned down college. Um, dude, the fucking uh, Domino's Pizza will close all 142 stores in Russia. Is this because of the fucking war? Oh, wow, dude. That's crazy. Hey. Your pizza. Hey. Hey. Your cheese and bread. Hey. Imagine Russians just like, they're doing what? Like, dude, first of all, Russians don't give a fuck about anything. And they don't even have to eat. For real. They don't, they could go, dude, Russians are so hardcore they can do they could easily go and i mean and i mean easily they could easily go you know that football player that says he's only been drinking water for three months russians laugh in that guy's face russians can go and i mean it easily they could go and i'm a scientist so you know this but they could go 180 days without eating 180 days and drinking only every third day. At, at day 180, they would be like, I have to maybe eat something. And they drink uh, Tabasco sauce. And they'd be like, this is good enough. Dude, Russians don't get, You think Domino's... What the fuck are they going to do? Dude, oh, Domino's. 
Imagine a Russian being like, they're taking dominoes away from this. I don't care. We have so many pizza. I can just eat whatever. But also, it doesn't matter. Just because Domino's did this, I will now not eat till war is over. Fuck them. 140. Dude, that's a huge hit. This just means that Domino's was failing in Russia, by the way. There's no way if it was lucrative that they would ever do this. There is no fucking way. Imagine, and also, how about everyone who's just out of a job? These aren't even the fucking things that are the problem. Now you got people who are just like, I can't see, feed my family with the money I make from Domino's or Domino's? Fuck this. I hope everybody dies in this war. Um, The company that owns franchise rights for the Domino's pizza brand in Russia, Turkey, okay, said Monday it will be filed for bankruptcy. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. The move... Highlights the increasingly hard choices facing Western firms that stayed in Russia after the start of the Ukraine war. The Kremlin has made, I don't like that they say the Kremlin, dude. That's so annoying. Like it's a fucking, like it's, you know what I mean? Like he's, like it's Thanos. It's just a, the Kremlin. What does it even mean? Just p- p- fucking Russia? What does it mean? The Kremlin is like saying the White House? Change the fucking name, dude. Just at least say the Kremlin house. The Kremlin sounds like it's like, they're like little like, you know, hey, don't, hey, get out of here. <laughs> this is the Kremlin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, what are you doing? We are a Russian Kremlin. <laughs> oh, are you scaly? Yes. <laughs> I'm the Kremlin. The Kremlin has made it vastly more difficult to, and more costly for Western companies to sell their Russian businesses. And it has, in some cases, seized control of firms' local assets. And all right, so with increasingly, it's a quote: with increasingly challenging environment, DPR Russia, DP Russia's immediate holding company is now compelled to take this step, which will bring about the termination of the attempted sale process of DP Russia as going growing, going concern. And I, I, what the fuck are they saying? The company operates 142 stores in Russia and the country's third largest pizza delivery business. That's crazy, dude. Hopefully it's not a domino effect. No, come on, dude. I don't do those kinds of jokes. Who am I, fucking Mark Norman? I don't do those jokes. They're jokes, though, you know? And they work sometimes. Uh, Mark Norman's good. Um, Bro, how... Unbelievable is it that people just straight up stopped talking about, thinking about uh, uh, NFTs. If you bought an NFT, and let me tell you right now, if you bought an NFT ever, you're a piece of shit, okay? You're a piece of shit. Know why? It was nothing, okay? It was nothing. It was the most nothing. Hey, blockchain, get the fuck out of here. Hey, what are you? Okay? Hey, get out of here, man. Oh, yeah? You're a fucking ape face on it? Ah, cool. What's it doing? Blowing bubblegum? What's it got? A fucking noisemaker? Hey. How much is it? Ah, hey. The fuck out of here, huh? Oh, dude. Oh, oh, but it's a blockchain? Oh, and it's created in the thing. And Oh, dude, that doesn't matter. Oh, what do I get? Oh, I get nothing? Ah, cool, man. Hey, move along. Dude, then this is the kind of person that you don't want you don't want business from somebody who would buy fucking NFTs. And this is why. B- because they're idiots. And then this is why. Buyers of board ape NFTs sue after digital apes turn out to be bad investment. Dude, you're a bro. You know what I mean? You made a bad investment because you fucking idiot. And now you're going to sue the person because of what? What? It didn't promise. They made promises on it is a certain thing and it's not living up to its. What are you suing it for? It's nothing. It never was anything, dude. Look at this lawsuit. Sooth, Soothbees, Soothbees, 24 million, Sotheby's, how do you say it? Sotheby's, 24 million sale to FTX gave Board Ape NFTs an air of legitimacy. So? Oh, dude, I wish I was the judge on this case. So, kink. Jury, everything's gone. Done. Go. Whatever they say at the end. The Sotheby's auction house has been named as a defendant in a lawsuit filed by, filed by uh, investors who regret buying who regret buying Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs that sold for highly inflatable prices. Dude, this is crazy. 
This fucking bullshit. These guys are idiots. These are like chicks that are like, no, but I shouldn't have. And then they're like, he f- that's bad of him. Dude, you made a choice, a choice as an adult to buy a fucking, not even a picture of a gold ape with an earring on it and glasses that fucking Diplo would wear. Dude, you chose it. You paid thousands and you're going to sue. Dude, I hope these guys don't see a fucking red cent. Look at this. Yuga. Yuga Labs. Investors previously sued board ape creator Yuga Labs for company executives, for company executives, and are various celebrity promoters, including Paris Hilton, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kevin Hart, Snoop Dogg, Serena Williams, Madonna, Jesus Christ, and Justin Bieber. The original class action, they would sue them? Oh, God. And sue the bees was everyone's trying to get money off these motherfuckers. You, dude, this is, was added as a defendant so, okay, so Yuga describes its collection of 10,000 board Ape NFTs as unique digital collectibles living in the Ethereum blockchain. Ah, get the fuck out of here. Moving along. Move along. That double as a Yacht Club membership card. So, so what? It's nothing. You bought nothing. Congrats. When you buy a board Ape, you're not simply buying an avatar or a provably rare piece of art. You are gaining membership access to a club whose benefits and offerings will increase over time. Wow. Your board ape can serve as your digital identity and open digital doors for you. Oh, wow. Imagine hearing that and being like, cut the check. Hey, dude, you know what? I got to get my business manager on the phone. Cut the check. Cut the check. We're buying nothing. What is the law that they seem to have broken? They soared and then plummeted. Look at this. There was border. It peaked at over 420,000 in April 22, but plummeted to about 90,000 six weeks later. How? It's still nothing. How is it even $90,000? Yeah, granted, I don't understand it, but also it's always been nothing. Everything's crazy, huh? All good. Um, unreal. I hope they all die. Um, what's this here? They already talk about the fucking. Did I already talk about The Flash? The Flash must be terrible. I haven't seen it. It must be so bad. I want to see it, I guess. The Flash is so... It's got to be so bad. I can't wait to see it. The Flash is now the worst box office flop in superhero film history. Even over Shazam? I can't believe that. Shazam looked fucking cocksucking terrible. Just three weeks after Warner Brothers, Ezra Miller starring DC... He's done, Ezra Miller, huh? Now he can't. I thought the only hope he had was that this would be a box office smash, making only fifty-five million. Uh, that's crazy. They promoted the shint out of that. I don't swear. Um, budget of two hundred twenty million, plus one hundred fifty million in promotional budget. Holy Christ! That's what people don't realize is the promotional thing. This is why I say Bobby Barbie Bond because I know the promotional uh, money for Barbie was over five billion dollars. So Barbie fucking bombed, dude. Greatest financial loss suffered by a studio over a superhero. Dude, how did they pay $150 million on marketing when they couldn't even use the main character actor in the promo stuff? Because he's just so weird. Hey, I'm like the Flash or whatever. Oh, my God. It's like, so how do you feel about the Flash? Oh, he's like so fast. Like, oh, my God. He's like so fast. Um, There's a lipstick and a fucking cape. Not a superhero cape. Just a cape. Absolutely bonkers. Everyone's bonkers, huh? Uh, let's look at some of these deserve it scales. God, that one, that one last time of the fucking kid who was like, go ahead, rob me, motherfuckers, and then they took his shoes and shit. Here we go. Deserve it scale. Oh, it's going to come back and hit him. Oh, that was a good one. Hit his legs. 
That was good. If it hit his mouth, it would have been tough, but that he deserved it. Wow, that's a, a pretty good guy throws one of those stupid signs up in the air, comes back, smashes him. The most, so Australian. It's like a boomerang. Um, wow. That's a an eight. That's a good one. But it didn't really have the humor factory, but it kind of did have the humor factor. Uh, okay, here we go. Yep. Yep. There we go. And that's a nine. Yep. I'm so sorry. So drunk, dude. I'm so sorry. Dude, smashed his lady into the fucking TV set. That was fucked, he said. Wait, hold on. Is that a guy? In a dress. So wow, you know, woke up with a big ass fucking nose. Looked like Bradley Cooper was playing her. Um, <laughs> uh, let's do it here. While flipping into water. Oh, I saw this one, dude. This guy doesn't really deserve that, but my god, dude, if I'm there and that happens, I go like that. When this, this is what this is me in the thing. This is me. If I see my friend do that. Ah, we need a new friend. He's dead. Dude, that is a fucking nah. That's like a four four. He didn't deserve it. That's you know what he's probably used to? Diving boards. And that shit was not forgiving at all. And he just tried to do it and then fucking crushed his mouth. Jesus Christ. Oh, we did that one. Oh, this one's good to review again. Jumping over the sign. <laughs> We did that one before, but that's a fucking nine. I wonder why I rated it last time. Oh, he does? Okay, hold on. Let's see the beginning. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wow, dude. Hands in the middle. Cock slamming up against the edge of it. Smashing my fucking teeth in. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> wow. God, you know, just no business doing that at all. Here comes Tinder. Let's look at some Tinder things. Dude's talking to matches while zonked on acid. Hell yeah, it's my kind of dude. These would be guys who go to my show. Um, hey, the girl says, and the guy says, I'm on acid right now. You have very, very dark energies around you. I think it's best I don't associate with your kind. All the best. Unmatching now. <laughs> she says, what? He says, I'm on fucking and then drugs and then under, and the energies tell me you are wrong. Good fucking bye. <laughs> dude, I don't really don't think people on drugs are funny because it's like, the, that's the excuse. It's like, well, they're on drugs, dude, but this one's good. Wow. That's a good one. And copying that one, I'm going to send that to all my friends. Um, that's a good one. Wow. Come on. Get back. Here we go. Here's another one. <clears throat> oh, that one doesn't exist anymore, Crane. Fucking absolutely great. Here we go. Online dating at its finest. I'm okay. I'd be better if I was balls deep inside you, though. Ew, that dude just said that? Wow. He's And then she says, gross. He says, worth a shot. Does he respond after this, or is that it? God, I'm okay. I'm okay, exclamation point, two of them. I'd be better if I was balls deep inside you, though. Smiley face. Dude, don't you know that's not going to work? That's like whistling outside of a fucking car to a woman. There we go. Okay, this starts with no you. Okay, what's the mug shot about, he says to her. She says, I got arrested. For what? Nothing bad for real. All right, you good. Looking for a F W B kind of thing? Fuck Friends with benefits kind of thing? Uh, yeah, before I got to go to jail. Nah, for real, what did you do? She says, attempted murder. D Damn, you're scared of me. <laughs> Guys will look past whatever, huh? Hey, what's up? I'm a dude. That's all good. You looking for a fuck buddy? Ma'am? Um... Okay, let's look at some uh, misconnections. It's time for misconnections. Do you like to eat donut holes? It says in the subject, 
looking for those that like to eat donut holes. Okay. Talking about asshole. Huh? How about that? Nice. Uh... All right, you know what? That's it. That, that we're going to end on that one because that's he's talking about eating assholes, and we love to end it on that. I think we did on one of those uh, last episodes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be in Charlotte, and Knoxville, and Little Rock, and also Nashville and Canada. Go to chrislea.com, and that's it for this episode. Um, if you want to watch the rest of it on this is for YouTube. If you want to watch the rest of it on Patreon, go over to patreon.com, patreon.com slash chrisdelia, and. Uh, Help us keep the show going by your uh, support. We really appreciate you if you're on Patreon. And we also appreciate you if you're not. But leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.